Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Peter Dupont. I'm a consultant to ADB and the uh, co-CEO of Asia Clean Energy Partners. I'm delighted to invite you to a, one of a series of knowledge spotlights done by the South Asia Regional Department of ADB. This exciting event is called Reimagining Housing, Innovative uh, one ADB approach to Tamil Nadu's urban challenges. And we'll have a very exciting hour hearing from a number of ADB officials, as well as officials from the government of India about the Tamil Nadu housing um, situation and solutions that have been developed to it. First, I would like to introduce Jazira Asanova, who's a principal um, uh, knowledge management uh, specialist with uh, the South Asia Regional Department to introduce the Knowledge Spotlight. Jazira, over to you. Thank you very much, Peter. Hello, everyone, and thank you very much for joining our webinar today. This event is part of the series uh, called the SART Spotlight, uh, which our Director General, Kenichi Yokoyama, initiated a few years ago in order to showcase innovative projects in South Asia. In our last episode of SART Spotlight, which we organized about three weeks ago, I talked about uh, the definition of innovation and innovative behaviors from the innovation author, uh, Scott Anthony, who wrote a book called Eat, Sleep, Innovate. And Scott Anthony says that innovation happens at the intersection of disciplines. And in today's session, we will see that the project we're showcasing today, the Tamil Nadu Affordable Housing Project, has brought together colleagues from different sectors, themes, and disciplines. And I'd like to kick off today's event by talking very briefly about the power of intention uh, in, the, in the context of change management and fostering innovation. Um, uh, you probably have heard about the book called Nudge uh, by Cass Sunstein. And, and Cass uh, talks about nudging and the power of intention. Uh, and so uh, today I wanted to you know, talk briefly about what is a nudge. Uh, and uh, nudges are interventions that give people who are being nudged a freedom of choice, uh, but at the same time steer them uh, in, in a particular direction. And uh, this is based on insights from behavioral uh, economics. So examples may include uh, consumer goods companies nudging consumers to buy uh, climate-friendly services uh, or, or products. Um, so in uh, today's session, we will see that nudging uh, is built into the design of the project, specifically the graduation approach. Uh, and the idea there is to nudge the relocated households, the beneficiaries, uh, to transition smoothly, to improve their uh, livelihood opportunities, uh, and uh, just to ensure that there is a pathway out of poverty for them. So nudging can be a, an effective public policy tool. So with this, I'd like to hand it back to Peter. Thank you. Thank you, Desira. And with that, I'm going to give a nudge to the Director General, <laughs> Kanichi Yokoyama, who is the, the DG of ADB's South Asia Regional Department, to make his opening remarks. Uh, Director General. Uh, can I? Uh, yeah, good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Can you hear me? Perfect. All good. Yeah, okay. So, uh, distinguished guests, uh, colleagues, and our partners from the government of Tamil Nadu, uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, let me extend my warm welcome to our distinguished guests, including Mr. Uh, C. Same Amusi, Secretary, Housing and Urban Development Department, Government of Tamil Nadu. Uh, Mr. P. Shankar, uh, Managing Director, Tamil Nadu Urban Habitat Development Board, and uh, Mr. Krishna uh, Chaitanya, uh, CEO of Tamil Nadu Infrastructure Fund Management Corporation. Uh, supporting uh, urban development is one of the seven operational priorities of ADB under Strategy 2030 and uh, also the highest uh, priorities of ADB's India operation, uh, which is uh, aiming at uh, combating, uh, combating urban areas to a powerful engine of economic growth, uh, providing a clean, green, resilient environment, and uh, 
driving rapid growth of modern services and uh, manufacturing industries. Uh, to this end, uh, as uh, shown in ADB's uh, recent uh, G20 contribution, we are increasingly uh, promoting systematic vertical urban agglomeration by controlling horizontal sprawling of urban areas, accumulating uh, assets vertically and systematically with taller buildings, and capturing a part of the created asset value as municipal revenues, which can then enhance uh, cities' credit worthiness, help attract uh, municipal revenues, and uh, uh, eventually creating a pattern in which cities will self-finance urban development on its own, uh, which is a pattern widely seen in more advanced countries in East Asia, Singapore, and others. Uh, in this process, addressing the constraints faced by the poor people in urban slums is an important and challenging area that needs to be tackled during this process. So under the our urban sector partnership in India, which has extended to uh, or reached to 14 states thus far, it has been a particular privilege for ADB to collaborate with Tamil Nadu state uh, government on uh, the project titled Affordable Housing for Urban Poor, among other urban projects in Tamil Nadu. Uh, Tamil Nadu has one of the highest urbanization rates in India, and uh, yet it is facing very acute housing shortage. Informal settlements and slums where the urban poor live are often situated in hazard exposed areas, are congested and lack appropriate services. They're located far from places of employment, infrastructure is also poor and suffers from inadequate maintenance. The project that we will feature, uh, that is uh, featured today, aims to address these shortcomings by uh, constructing affordable housing for vulnerable communities and to introduce a so-called graduation program uh, to lift uh, relocated households from poverty. It has several innovative features and uh, was designed with a strong partnership with uh, uh, strong participation of ADB's Office of PPP. This project addresses beneficiary needs by uh, weavering social protection, livelihood promotion, financial inclusion, and social empowerment measures into the innovative building design. It also addresses maintenance by improving the delivery process of the Tamil Nadu Urban Housing and Development Board. This project presents a novel approach to cross-sectoral collaboration uh, within the LB and across uh, Tamil Nadu. We can do more in India and elsewhere by sharing lessons and uh, replicating what has worked well. I believe that successful approaches to affordable housing can be replicated across Tamil Nadu and beyond. And uh, more and more equity can be generated to increase the supply of affordable housing projects uh, in India. Uh, so we are looking forward to further housing projects uh, uh, in, in India and uh, uh, other uh, South Asian countries, uh, which was also recently advised by our independent uh, uh, evaluation department. So I look forward to learning from the insights today on how to roll out impact free interventions, mainstream replication in ADB operations, and bring transformational changes in the affordable housing segment. I'd like to thank the government of Tamil Nadu uh, again for participating in today's event and sharing their insights. I wish the participants an enriching and uh, fruitful discussion today. Thank you. So thank you very much, Director General, um, for those inspiring remarks and uh, emphasizing the importance of transform transformational partnerships and especially the urban sector partnerships that uh, ADB has with uh, 14 states uh, in India. So now we're gonna have an exciting, uh, I'd like to welcome the participants. We're gonna have an exciting event. We're gonna watch a short movie. 
then we're gonna have a little interactive poll, and then you'll have a chance to ask questions once we get to the panel discussion. So if you look at the bottom uh, of your screen, there's a Q&A channel, and uh, you'll be able to ask questions of the panelists when we get to that segment. But first, we're gonna watch a little video uh, brought to us by the Tamil Nadu government. Uh, and uh, this is about the situation there and about this project that the Director General just uh, introduced. Following that, we will hear from uh, Ricky uh, Barba, who's the Principal Safeguard Specialist uh, with the Office of Safeguards at ADB, as well as Saurav Majumdar, who is a Senior Project Officer uh, with the India Resident Mission of ADB. Uh, so can we play the video now, please? Tamil Nadu is one of the fastest industrializing states and the third most urbanized state in India, with 48.5% of its population living in urban areas. The Honorable Chief Minister is undertaking numerous developmental projects to enable sustainable urbanization and fully achieve the Sustainable Development Goals in Tamil Nadu by 2030. With respect to affordable housing for the urban poor, the government has been implementing various programs such as in-situ storied tenements with basic infrastructure, greenfield development with livelihood support and reconstruction of dilapidated tenements. Government of Tamil Nadu is undertaking various policy reform in priority area of urban planning and affordable housing. Asian Development Bank is helping the government to address some of the key challenges by building the climatic resilient and inclusive housing, enabling the government and the private sector participation for the supply of affordable housing for both ownership as well as rental, and strengthening the regional planning in Tamil Nadu. The ADB project consists of three distinct components. Component 1. With the funding of 104 million US dollars from ADB, Tamil Nadu Urban Habitat Development Board is working to resettle 6,000 urban poor families residing in flood-prone areas to storied tenements in safer locations. Component 2 ADB is partnering with the Tamil Nadu Infrastructure Fund Management Corporation to create industrial housing and working women hostels for low-income and migrant workers through a public-private partnership model. TNFMC manages thematic funds that strive to deliver top quartile returns to its investors and deliver quantifiable positive impact for Tamil Nadu, the communities that we serve and the sectors in which we operate in. Tamil Nadu Shelter Fund, a fund investing in projects that catalyze affordable rental and for sale housing projects. Component 3. Here, ADB is providing support to develop a regional plan for Madurai to promote sustainable development, harmonizing the social, economic and infrastructure needs of the region through meticulous planning and resource management. Tamil Nadu is one of the top performing states in India in executing housing projects for the urban poor. Over the past 50 years, Tamil Nadu Urban Habitat Development Board has either directly constructed or facilitated the construction of more than half a million housing units and individual houses in India. Additionally, we have allocated residence plans to around 130,000 families, ultimately benefiting nearly 2.5 million individuals. TNUHDB is implementing three projects with ADB support in Kalanivasal, Reddiyarpatti and Vallam. A total of 2,745 tenements will be built under these projects. The Kalanivasal project is centered around the concept of nest, nurture, engage, stimulate, thrive. Through a network of interconnected courtyards, this design promotes the formation of neighborhoods, encourages social interactions, and establishes a lively, inclusive, secure, and welcoming environment known as Arogyam, health and wellness. The architectural layout has been carefully planned 
to maximize thermal comfort, allowing ample natural light and facilitating cross ventilation. Each housing unit consists of a living room, bedroom, kitchen, a toilet and bathroom. There are also universally accessible units with features such as entry ramps, appropriately sized doors for wheelchair accessibility and an open plan layout. The project design adopts a holistic approach through enhanced consultation and stakeholder participation in the design process as well as the introduction of a comprehensive graduation program. This involves many measures to ensure a smooth transition to the newly built tenements in safer locations including temporary cash assistance, technical training, etc. ADB also supports operations and maintenance of these projects initially which along with the government's Nam Kudi Rippu, Nam Puruppu, our tenement, our responsibility initiative and setting up of residents' welfare associations will ensure better maintenance of the asset. It is estimated that by 2031, two-thirds of state's population will be living in cities. The urban poor who live in deplorable socio-economic conditions are the most vulnerable segments in the process of rapid urbanization. Hence, Upgradation of such settlements and provision of affordable housing are the key areas of intervention for the Government of Tamil Nadu to attain sustainable development. The Government of Tamil Nadu is adopting a holistic approach to housing where, in addition to providing a house with amenities and transport facilities, it is improving livelihood opportunities and thereby the quality of life of the economically marginalized people in the urban areas. Thank you very much. I think um, it's now my turn. So I'll ask uh, if my slides could be loaded. Thank you very much. So I had the privilege of working on this project. My name is Ricky Barba. I'm a principal safeguard specialist from the Office of Safeguards. Um, and Saurav Majumdar was a co-mission leader during processing. Saurav is now uh, leading the implementation. So I, I will hand over to him in the middle of the slides so that he can explain further. But um, Next slide, please. We had the, next, the extreme privilege of actually working with the Tamil Nadu government. I am pleased to see um, our colleagues, um, the management um, of, of uh, specific teams, but um, beyond our esteemed guests, there were many other people who Saurav and I had worked with to make this, um, to make this project and um, pack the innovative features. I actually caught myself smiling and nodding, and I may have seemed a little bit silly, but I had only watched the video yesterday and it still amazes me to see how much innovations are there and so i won't talk about design not audible excuse not audible. me yes mr ricardo Can you hear me yes it's not audible here all right oh, it's i think i think we're okay ricky i i can okay. hear it here it may be on your end there in tamil nadu but i think ricky you're okay to go ahead all right, let me go ahead and I hope um, our, our issues will be solved in Tamil Nadu. But as I was not audible, I just want to express again my thanks for all the work um, from the Tamil Nadu side. Um, and I, I want to explain that from the video, you could see many of the design Speaker? innovations. Yes, yes. We couldn't can hear you, it. Can you hear me when I'm speaking? Let's just do a little uh, troubleshooting here. Can you hear me? Okay, so we yes, we can hear uh, you well, Peter. Uh, okay. It must be a problem in Tamil Nadu. Yeah, well, let's uh, maybe you can text them, and um, while this is going, just send them a, a text uh, in the chat um, and uh, see if we can get their audio fixed. Yep. All right, thank you. So I, I will proceed. And again, apologies for, for this glitch. But as I was saying, all the design innovations are nicely documented in the video. And I could talk about all those design innovations, including my favorite topic, which is uh, computational fluid dynamics. And um, But um, I will move to the next slide instead. I hope it's audible now. And um, you know, talking about what Jazeera was explaining about nudges, there was a lot of nudges in terms of the design so that government could improve further on amazing work that they have done. I'm sure you would have heard in the video that 
um, Tamanado Urban Housing Development Board is around my age. So if you didn't hear that, I will not repeat how old the Tamanado Urban ha Habitat Development Board is. It used to be the Tamanado Slum Clearance Board, which started in the 70s. But I want to talk about the software um, of this kind of um, project. So the hardware is improved in terms of the building improvements, and that is done gradually. Now, some of the nudges that we look at is in terms of the beneficiary population. Next slide, please. So in working with TNUHDB, we focused on hazard-prone areas, and you'll see this is Red Yarpati, one of the featured sites. And the blue map is where floods happen, while the yellow, yellow portion on the lower part of the slide is where we have modeled floods. So we want to ensure we're looking at historic flooding as well as modeled flooding, which will show you flooding in the future. And the communities that we are working to relocate are those in the orange dots. And clearly you cannot put the relocation site or the housing site very close because that's hazard prone. And so you move them a bit further, which is the red dot. Next slide, please. In, a, in addition to all the improvements to the buildings and to the communities to ensure that they thrive and occupancy is high, we pay attention to stakeholders. And you will see a very nice slide um, in, in maybe two or three slides down, which shows that we had been asking actually the beneficiaries to look at the site and provide their views, their comments to improve it further. But the innovation in this project is not just a standard relocation approach that ADB does in accordance with its policy, but looking at it through a lens of poverty reduction. And the graduation approach is developed as a framework which addresses all the multidimensional um, issues around relocation. So we provide social protection, livelihood promotion, social empowerment, financial inclusion. DG also touched on this. And if you see the bar graph, these are sequenced so that your graduation program is timed from 18 to 24 months. And the idea there that is that there are things that are placed during the beginning, like asset transfers, and there are things that are longer, for example, like coaching and life skills training. Next slide, please. And our idea is for the beneficiaries to graduate through this program and have increased skills, more productive assets, quality health care, food security, savings, and social integration, because these are the multidimensional barriers that they face. Having this or nudging them towards this direction will ensure that they thrive at their new location. Next slide, please. So this is the slide that I was talking about. We're very proud about the construction progress. Saurav is almost uh, solely responsible from the ADB side because he is now implementing. But you'll also see that we hold a lot of stakeholder consultations. We bring the beneficiaries. If you can see this, the picture at the bottom is a photo of um, our female beneficiaries on the site. Next slide, please. One other thing that we can improve on is the location that they are coming from. So in a traditional relocation, usually there's not much attention to where they came from. But we find that this is very important in this project because we want to prevent re-encroachment because that is usually part of what happens when you relocate. People who cannot thrive generally come back without giving sufficient time and sufficient effort to thriving at the new location. More importantly, because these are flood-prone locations, it's a double jeopardy kind of thing. What happens is that because they are there, they limit the flood retention capacity and, and cause the risk to themselves, greater risk to themselves. On the other hand, it also causes risks to surrounding communities. So those floodways may, for example, prevent the flooding in the city. Those of us who live in Manila see this in terms of the Pasig River. You know, any increases in the water level does not only affect the encroachers on Pasig, but the nearby communities because it reduces the absorptive capacity. And that's why we are piloting this through the project. Next slide, please. So working with the NUHDB, we have better housing models, but how can we improve this further? There is a large gap. And what we want to ensure is that there are new models for financing affordable housing. Next slide, please. And so one avenue for partnership is in terms of operations and maintenance. 
one of the lessons that we've seen is that there's poor operation and maintenance, and we want to ensure that this is improved by financing the operation and maintenance while the loan is active, but also building models so that other parties can benefit from operation and maintenance contracts. So this is bringing in the private sector. Next slide, please. And more important in the financing is supporting PPP projects. And this is being done under the Tamil Nadu Shelter Fund, which is financed by the government, but also there are contributions from the World Bank and the ADB so that the Tamil Nadu Shelter Fund can invest equity or as debentures or in combination for identified sub-project um, special purpose vehicles that will build further affordable housing. Here in this slide, you'll see an example of a recent transaction, which is supporting 14,000 industrial workers households which this is a this is a huge um huge uh, activity which is not financed through the traditional model of TNUHDB but bringing together um PPP next slide please so essentially i'm summarizing that the tamil nadu shelter fund is component too because it mobilizes capital it helps develop the market for affordable housing. It improves governance. And one of my favorites is bring, bringing private sector projects once track record is established under an environment, social, and governance framework, right? And it could lead to promoting green building. And finally, developing and funding innovative models of housing that can be replicated, such as in long-term rental models. So with that, I'm going to pass you again to the person who is successfully implementing this project. Saurav, can you take over to describe regional planning and summarize the innovations? Saurav? Yeah, thank you, Ricky, for explaining the amazing works that the government of Tamil Nadu has do, done so far under the project. I would like to add further on the regional planning aspects uh, incorporated under the project. During the preparation of this project, the government of Tamil Nadu realized that the delivery of the affordable houses for the urban poor and the vulnerable requires integration of the spatial considerations into development and economic plan from a regional perspective. As such, the project included development of one model integrated regional plan for the Madurai region, following which subsequent plans would be developed to cover the state's 30 districts. Next slide, please. The regional plan is uh, supporting a regional economic development with resource mobilization. Through a development framework, it is making provisions for affordable housing, taking into account regional disparities, infrastructure development, climate resilience, and environmental pro protection, disaster risk management, and gender. With respect to affordable housing for migrant workers and working women, the regional plan is being informed by ADB's master planning study for the Chennai Kanyakumari Industrial Corridor. Next slide, please. The project captures several key value additions. It incorporates improvements in the current processes of affordable housing delivery. This has been possible because of very close collaboration and continuous dialogue of ADB with government of Tamil Nadu and with the implementing agencies like UNHDB and TNFMC. Improvement in the design and delivery processes by DNHDB are markedly visible in the last one and a half years of implementation. Multifaceted benefits of the graduation approach by addressing the beneficiary needs, ensuring social protection, livelihood promotion, financial inclusion, and social empowerment are mention worthy for this project. GNHDB's financial sustainability is likely to improve by the introduction of maintenance planning and asset management, long-term maintenance, contracts, and schemes, which Ricky have explained, and involvement of the beneficiaries in operation and maintenance, and involvement of the beneficiaries in the operation and maintenance of these assets. ADB's financial support to the Tamil Nadu Shelter Fund has already catalyzed private sector financing for affordable housing projects, mainly following the successful rental models, which has been explained earlier. The ongoing preparation of the regional plan would support regional economic development with resource mobilization. The pro project offers a perfect replication model for other places in India and in the region. We as a team are confident that the ongoing excellent partnership of ADB with the government of Tamil Nadu would pave the way for more innovations and cater towards provisioning of permanent shelter with the appropriate housing infrastructures and services for every affected household in Tamil Nadu. Thank you. Thank you very much. Over to you, Peter. 
Thank you very much, uh, Saurav, and also Ricky for that uh, for teeing up the um, uh, the rest of the uh, spotlight, which will be consist of a panel with. Uh, the um, with ADB and some of the Tamil Nadu officials. Now we try to um, make this a bit interactive. Uh, so our plan is to introduce an interactive poll uh, before we go into the panel discussion. So I'm assuming all of you have um, have smartphones, so you can use a QR code. Uh, and I'm going to do it too. I'll get my phone out here and. Uh, uh, just scan the QR code and answer the questions. Um, and then we'll see what you all think about uh, what you've uh, been hearing and what you expect from this event. So please uh, get your smartphone out and take the poll. And we'll this will take about one or two minutes. It's a very quick, uh, easy exercise. So for those of you who have it, the first question is, how can innovations in affordable housing be replicated and expanded? And I've done that first question. The second question is, what is a common challenge faced by rapidly urbanizing regions? And the third question is, what is the significance of an integrated development plan in urban development. Okay. So, uh, how are we doing in terms of the poll? Can we start showing the results? Do we have enough of a uh, response yet to show the results? Great. So the first question, and the clear winner is all of the above. <laughs> Great. Um, cross subsidization, long term rental models, short term rental, rental models. I personally chose long term rental models, but that was me. Um, we have a clear preference for all of the above. Um, next question What do people think about a common challenge? And a clear winner, we have near unanimity, strain on infrastructure and basic services. Final question to get a sense of what the participants are thinking today. What is the significance of an integrated development plan in urban development? Um, I'm glad that no one chose isolated independent projects. <laughs> that was a test. Well, that's, that's fantastic. Um, so thank you very much to the uh, IT group and to uh, Mark Tagub for uh, putting together that poll um, so we can sort of get a sense of what the audience is thinking. And now, with no further ado, uh, I'd like to move on to the panel discussion. We're going to have a panel discussion for about a little 20, a little under 25 minutes. Um, and we're going to start with, so first of all, we have uh, the director of the Water and Urban uh, Development Sector Office of ADB. Then we have three officials from the uh, government of Tamil Nadu who were featured in that exciting video. So uh, I'd like uh, each of you to start off and um, spend about three minutes. And I'm uh, gonna introduce you with a question. The first uh, panelist is uh, Srinivas Sampat, who's the director of water and urban development sector office from the urban sector group of ADB. And um, I'm gonna ask Srini just maybe to, as he, introduces himself to comment on um, how this 180B collaboration unfolded. Could you unpack that a little bit? And what are the synergies between uh, the Office of Public and Private Partnerships in South Asia that made this project greater than the sum of its parts? Uh, Mr. Director, over to you. Uh, Peter, thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, a pleasure to be uh, joining the panel uh, with our distinguished guests from Tamil Nadu government. Uh, very important question. Uh, what we have been doing over the last many years, uh, Peter, is that to look into sustainability of the assets that are developed and financed by ADB. Uh, often, or rather I would say more often, um, sustainability of assets was seen as an afterthought. So we really wanted to come in very early on to try and identify how 
the assets that are getting financed in the case of Tamil Nadu actually is able to really deliver value. So we discussed with the government on the various models. So that is why you see um, an organized operational maintenance of the projects that the sites location that we saw. That was one. The second and more important one was the work with TNFMC, which really brought together various parts of the bank. Uh, in fact, the first step work that was done to support TNFMC was through a technical assistance that was funded by ADB's private sector operations department, which helped prepare the business plan. And from there, the baton got handed over to the sovereign team uh, to develop uh, this pipeline of project to support TNFMC with uh, the equity, the government of Tamil Nadu's equity, as it was shown in the, the slide that Ricky presented. And we are very much hoping that in the downstream, uh, our private sector colleagues will come back and join again in the downstream transactions. We've recently had an interaction uh, with the private sector director uh, from PSOD uh, with the TNFMC management team, and we are really hoping that this will then set a new pathway for more private sector engagement. So really, this, this was an excellent opportunity for us to bring together, given the genesis uh, that was there for private sector, but more importantly, the reason was that we really wanted to see sustainability, long-term sustainability assets create. Let me pause, thank you. Thank you very much, Srini. And interestingly, I happen to be at ADB headquarters today, and I was in a meeting talking about affordable housing in the Philippines. Um, it's really a, a very common uh, and uh, vexing problem across the region, both South Asia and uh, Southeast Asia. Uh, so with that, I, I'd like to go to our um, distinguished uh, guests and panelists who are in Tamil Nadu. Uh, I just want to make sure that uh, you can hear me because we had some audio problem before. Are you able to hear me okay there? All good? Sure. Fanta fantastic. So I'd like to introduce uh, Secretary uh, Samaya Morty. Um, and uh, if you could talk about uh, what are the future plans for rolling out affordable housing in Tamil Nadu uh, and uh, just provide us some sort of some context and, and address that question of what your future plans are and how the program has been going for you. Thank you, Peter and senior uh, officials from the Asian Development Bank, my dear colleagues here. Good morning, and good afternoon also. Tamil has been a progressive state in terms of uh, designing and implementing various housing and housing center schemes and program, both in rural as well as in the urban area. So mainly, we are planning to focus on the urban area, since the uh, rural area is focused by some other department, which uh, definitely we are dealing. Over the years, state government has created an institution such as Housing Board, Similar Habitat Development Board, previously it was called as a Slum Clearance Board, to address the issue related to affordable housing in urban area, exclusively for urban area. It's also taking various legal, policy, regulatory, and spatial planning reform to improve the affordable housing supply urban area. In addition to that, government also is planning to commonly some of the max which are uh, providing uh, um, uh, support to the affordable housing like Slum Board Act, Housing Board Act, Tamil Nadu Country, Town and Country Planning Act to bring in various provisions for inclusive planning as well as affordable housing. He also done the affordable housing policy in a place and now developing a public private partnership policy with affordable housing is one of the key focus area. The state government is in the process of amending the Tamil Nadu combined development building regulations rules 2019 to strengthen the provision on affordable housing in order to relieve the pressure 
and ensure the regulated growth and improve the affordable housing in the urban area. Urban Planning Authority or strengthen, strengthening and updating the statutory spatial plan in the state. Then a Metropolitan Development Agency has initiated work on the preparation of the third master plan for Chennai and its neighboring districts. Preparing the transit oriented development policy, implementing the land pooling, and the additional FSI for the affordable housing, and the densification along the transit oriented development corridor, some of the plan in the their master plan. Director of Town and Country Planning is preparing the regional plan for the different cities like Coimbatore, Madurai, Nilgiris. Tamil Nadu Housing Board is developing the satellite town in the in and around Chennai Metropolitan Development Area. We also, in addition to selling or owning the house to the, by the people, we also have the provision of the rental house, which is one of the focus area of the government, and started working on this segment by implementing the rental project for uh, industrial worker, which you might have seen in the, uh, the short film also, working women, husband who are using the public-private partnership. The, the housing board, or slum urban habitat board is implementing nearly 179 projects covering about 80,000 households in the state, which will be completed before December 2024. The focus of the government is reconstruction of the old elements in Chennai and the other cities. Recently, we have started 28 reconstruction project covering about 10,000 houses household in Tamil Nadu to provide the affordable houses to the urban poor. Another very important our plan is the convergence of the various department. Now, even if you provide the houses, people will not move in that area unless otherwise it's provide the some of the support system, particularly employment, other essential services like fair price shops, medical facilities, transport facilities. So one of the very important aspects which we are planning to convert with the other departments working in the state government, providing the skill training program so that women, as well as men over there, they can get the employment opportunity in and around the area. And also the men going for a long distance to work, we are providing the transport facilities to these. Uh, which is the major main places which is the development area. So these are the, some of the efforts which we are planning to do it as a convergence in the future so that people from the you know, encroachment area or the, on the uh, waterside area, they can move there and have a decent life in that new locations. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Secretary. Um, again, that is Secretary uh, C. Sayama Morti who's the Secretary of the Government of Housing and Urban Development Department from the Government of Tamil Nadu. And what a great way to end about, you know, why we're here, why we're doing this for people to have a decent life. And that sort of resonates with the graduation approach that uh, our ADB colleagues were talking about. And now we're going to move to uh, Dr. P. Shankar, who's the Managing Director of the Tamil Nadu Urban Habitat Development Board. Um, Dr. Shankar, can you tell us a little bit about when you introduce yourself and your reflections, um, can you talk about the design innovations across the housing projects uh, that TNUHDB is implementing um, and how those are working out? Uh, over to you, Dr. Shankar. Yeah. Uh, good morning and uh, good afternoon to everyone. This is with a great pleasure and honor that I present you today the design innovation across the housing project implemented in Tamil Nadu. The government of Tamil Nadu has been introducing a number of design innovations to enhance the built-up environment and the quality of life 
of the people living in this because it just prefabrication and my one they can have been adapted to save the consumption time and enhance the efficiency the prefabrication technology was adopted in the lighthouse project in sabnadu this project was use of precast column beam and slab likewise my one technology is a monolithic technology which replaces the conventional brick work with the monolithic concrete construction using aluminum shutters and steel in tamil nadu more than 20 projects are being implemented using the my one prefab recently we have taken eight project under the prefabrication technology with the edv projects the government is trying to further enhance its design innovation in the development of the four sites that is vallo rediyar patti and kalni vasal and palli palayam we focused on progressive and continuous improvement by incorporating basic urban design and architectural good practices to develop master plan that can be green certified and be also en of the eco nirva samvida complaints further adb supported the introduction of integrated approaches wherein built up area open space and amenities were designed holistically parks playground and amenities were placed in a manner that fostered a better interaction amongst the communities native vegetation was given importance in the scheme area attention also paid to signage way finding in the facade articulation to enhance the visual appeal of the dwellings regarding safety and social amenities edi pras have many social amenities integrated within them on the addition of a livelihood center aims to provide dedicated space for training and related activities for the disabled families attention also paid to the safety of women other and other vulnerable groups by introducing urban design concepts such as rise on the street wherein building will be designed such a way that there will be no dark corners or pathways apart from the ccd advanced simulation technology also we have introduced board has introduced advanced simulation technology in the edi projects just i'll share a few key simulation which were taken by the board we have undertaken a computation fluid dynamic analysis to understand the wind pattern so as to optimize the wind flow in the outdoor areas and to improve the outdoor thermal transport this simulation was also, also done within the blocks and the units to enhance the grass ventilation we have undertaken the irradiation analysis also mainly to compute the relationship between the building and the solar geometry in conjunction with the solar irradiation so as to finalize the building orientation and optic optimal location for the planting vegetation so as to enhance the quality of open space we have also undertaken daylight simulation analysis to predict analyze and evaluate the amount of daylight available inside the the initiative was appreciated by the beneficiaries as this technique increased the natural solar light in the areas other simulation includes studies to optimize solar panel placement run of the rain water analysis and thermal simulation for energy efficiency to conclude let me take a moment to appreciate the adb for its remarkable contribution to the region's development in india b look ahead this cutting edge practice as well as adoption of good urban design principles will enhance the high quality of life and create a climate resilient development in india thank you um thank you very much dr shankar and um uh having um started my career working um uh in the area of building uh energy uh efficiency and energy design it was fascinating yeah, to yeah, hear it's not audible yeah. ah. okay mr peter uh, you got to unmute i am unmuted can you hear me in the control room yes yes, yes we okay can so can you just send a, a chat note to the tamil nadu colleagues to let them know that we it's not audible um, yeah Can, that we cannot hear them so we have the same 
problem we had before, which is uh, we'll have to work around. Um, can the IT? Yeah. So mm -hmm. what I will do is yeah. I will ask I will ask Srini a question. In the meantime, I'm going to before that. Uh, can you hear me now? Um, Now it's yeah, audible now. Oh, fantastic. Okay, great. Okay, so uh, I, I was just saying, I think it's important to just share that, um, you know, the importance of, of all of the modeling and design innovations you did, looking at wind patterns, looking at solar geometry, looking at the building orientation, uh, daylight simulations and insulation. That's really part of what makes a comfortable house, uh, whether you know it's for poor people or rich people. And that's fantastic uh, to hear that design. But of course, the designs um, do not live in a vacuum if they're not constructed. So I'd like to introduce the final panelist, Mr. Krishna Chaitanya who's the CEO of the Tamil Nadu Infrastructure Fund Management Corporation. Um, and Dr. Chaitanya, I'd like to ask you uh, if you could just reflect on what the current demand for housing um, and how we can get this finance and what you think about the rental model for affordable housing, which can be such an important way uh, of, of getting more people into affordable housing, the hundreds of thousands that you need uh, to get into affordable housing in um, uh, Tamil Nadu, as well across uh, as across many other states in India, uh, Mr. Chaitanya. Thank you, Peter, and uh, good afternoon, uh, everybody. Uh, as for the last available numbers, uh, there are about uh, three hundred thirteen thousand uh, homes uh, which are sold in twenty twenty two, and this was uh, from one of the reports of Night Frank, uh, and that has been an increase of about. Uh, 30% from the previous years. Of course, that was, pre was the pandemic years. Uh, having said that, uh, the sales have uh, kept tracked uh, a similar way. And uh, all these houses getting sold, uh, it is a testament to the demand uh, for housing that has been happening. But when we slice it uh, further, uh, we see that the most of uh, the housing has been in the middle uh, income segment or higher. When we are talking about only the commercial houses which are uh, sold. We are uh, not really looking at the governmental uh, schemes uh, which look at uh, the affordable end of the housing. Uh, the other uh, statistic that I would want to share is uh, a statistic by, in, which was shared in 2012 uh, by the Ministry of uh, Housing and Urban Poverty Elevation, the Government of India. Uh, they say that there, are, there is a deficit of about 2 million houses, uh, which is across the various segments. And uh, when you look at it, more than 60% of these houses is uh, from the affordable segment or the people who uh, are uh, not really catered to uh, by the real estate uh, developers or the, the commercial uh, real estate entities. Uh, we have uh, the various government entities in, in Tamil Nadu. We have uh, our housing uh, department in the housing uh, urban, uh, housing development board, uh, which catered to the ownership uh, housing. Uh, we're doing a good work. We have already uh, heard uh, from the secretary and the MD of uh, TN uh, UHDB. Uh, but having said that, uh, we complement as TNI from C. Where we complement is we do complement on the ownership housing in the affordable uh, space, uh, which is uh, hitherto not focused by most of the commercial developers. And we also do some work in the rental housing space. Now, why is this rental housing space uh, important? The rental housing space is important because uh, there is a growth. The uh, we will talk about Tamil Nadu. We'll keep our focus on Tamil Nadu here. Okay. It, Tamil Nadu has been growing. The industrialization has been growing. There's opportunities uh, which are abound, uh, not only in uh, the various uh, in the metropolitan uh, region of Chennai, but across the various cities. Urbanization, as we have already seen, is more than forty-eight percent. It is the largest among the. Uh, large states. The two other states which are about Tamil Nadu are the national capital region of uh, Delhi and Pondicherry. 
which are you know, smaller uh, states, but for a state uh, of this size, this is this surpasses far surpasses the various other states in terms of the growth, the urbanization, and everything else. We have a demand uh, from the students, the millennials who are working for the first time and who want to uh, uh, seek uh, a nice uh, place where they can live. And uh, interestingly, Tamil Nadu has the largest stock of rental housing, uh, about 17% of the country's uh, rental housing stock of about 2 million uh, houses or 21 million houses, uh, let me just, 21.7 yeah, million houses, 17% uh, of them is in Tamil Nadu. Despite that, there is a severe uh, shortage of the rental housing. Uh, uh, we believe that uh, there are uh, some uh, areas where we as TNIFMC contribute and uh, where uh, in general the contributions need to be made from multilateral agencies, the governments and others. Uh, one is in, in, in the increasing of the uh, stock uh, in general, the ver vertical uh, uh, buildings uh, which uh, can cater to some of the rental housing is one of the areas where things can happen. We have long-term financing which is required uh, because uh, in terms of the ownership housing, people uh, tend to really uh, spend 30 to 40 percent of their uh, monthly income in uh, housing, whereas uh, the rental housing is where uh, the entry-level professionals yes. as well as the various people who are at the lower end uh, of, of the uh, uh, strata uh, can uh, afford because the rentals usually are anything between 10 to 15% of the uh, okay. monthly income. The An active secondary market is one of the areas where interventions uh, would be required. Uh, uh, something like uh, the market forces uh, at taking uh, a lead, like the REITs uh, coming in. In fact, uh, uh, more than 50% of uh, the various developed countries, uh, even Switzerland has more than 51% uh, uh, of the population living in a rental housing. And uh, the ownership of those rental assets are by REITs. Today, REITs in India are mostly for the commercial and industrial uh, premises. Uh, whereas uh, we believe that uh, going forward, this is uh, something that uh, uh, where things would lead to when Tamil Nadu is uh, in part to do that. In our own uh, small way, we are contributing to that. Thank you. Great. Uh, that's fantastic. Um, you know, it's really fascinating that one state of Tamil Nadu has 17% of the rental housing in India. Um, so I'd like to just ask the participants to submit questions uh, into the Q&A. Uh, we don't have time because we're at the end of the hour, but we will um, endeavor to answer them um, offline and send uh, responses to the questions in our post-event communication. And as with all of our knowledge spotlights, uh, what we uh, try to do is we try to capture the uh, key discussions and um, learnings that were uh, shared by the, the speakers and panelists. Uh, we also send a link to the recording afterwards. So you'll, all of those of you who attend and even those who don't attend will get that. But I'd like to um, uh, thank uh, you uh, there in Tamil Nadu and go back to um, to uh, Srinivas Sampat, the director of the Water and Urban Development Sector Office of the Urban Sector Group at ADB. So Srinivas, um, I'm wondering if you could just reflect in, in a couple of minutes about the overall picture of affordable housing from your perspective uh, as far as ADB's work and uh, how are other uh, ADB subregions taking forward the mantle of helping to develop and finance affordable housing? Sure, Peter, that, that's a very good question because uh, on the back of the work that we've done with uh, Tamil Nadu, it really set us in a very good path and with the new operating model that we can uh, about a few months ago, affordable and social housing is one of the critical areas within the new business opportunities within the urban sector office that we have. And at the moment, uh, we are having a, a number of conversation with uh, governments uh, in Armenia, Pakistan, Kazakhstan, Georgia, 
Philippines, Indonesia, Vietnam, and Papua New Guinea in, in terms of the opportunity that exists. And often uh, the first conversation that happens is uh, the work that we have done in Tamil Nadu. It's been such a important element of work in terms of the innovation, in terms of bringing the private sector element to it, that that it, it really appeals uh, to, uh, to a large audience of, of, of uh, the, the common counterpart that you're talking about. What we really want to see is further scaling up of this, uh, particularly in some part of Asia where uh, we have serious challenges of aging. Uh, so we're looking at how we can support working with our you know, health and social development group, for example, in terms of can we look into assisted housing? Can we look at elderly housing? Um, Chaitanya Krishna mentioned about some of the work that they are doing in, in terms of specifics for elderly care. So we want to really look at how we could assist uh, similar kind of uh, you know, demographic profiles and others. Then the third element, very briefly, is rental housing. We're working with our finance sector group to try and bring uh, mortgage solutions uh, for, for those who can actually afford to get onto a property ladder. But we are going to have a significant population in our developing client countries who may not have even access to that. So we want to really scale up the rental model, uh, the work that's been done in Tamil Nadu. So in many aspects, uh, what we've done in Tamil Nadu, what we've learned in Tamil Nadu, learning in Tamil Nadu, I should say, really shapes our thinking going forward to work with other countries. Thank you. So thank you, Director Srinivas, and I, I hope that uh, makes you um, feel somewhat uh, gratified and maybe even important and pat yourself on the back in Tamil Nadu for the impact that you are having across so many uh, ADB countries and the in inspiring example that your um, integrated approach to development, not only on design, but on the uh, regional planning and on the financing uh, can have across the many ADB countries uh, that uh, many countries that ADB works at across the region. Um, and with that, um, uh, I just I always hate to end these, but there's only so much we can pack into an hour. And we're actually sort of we've uh, just got a couple minutes left. I'd like to introduce the deputy country director for the India Resident Mission, Ho Yun Jong, to provide closing remarks to this uh, remarkable um, knowledge spotlight. Uh, Ho oh, Yan Jong, over to you. Yeah, uh, thank you. Can you hear me, Peter? Yeah, I can hear you okay. fine. It's perfect. Yeah, great. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I appreciate uh, your active uh, participation in today's uh, SOD Spotlight event, uh, where uh, we heard the inspiring uh, stories from the Tamil Nadu affordable uh, housing for the urban poor projects. Um, it clearly showcases innovative solutions and transformational uh, impacts. Uh, we are also uh, very grateful to speakers for generously sharing their insight. Additionally, a special thanks uh, to our partners from the government of Tamil Nadu uh, for sharing their valuable lessons uh, from the project as well. Um, in quick summary, this project uh, stands out uh, for several reasons. For one, it intends to address the complex housing needs of migrant workers and the urban poor uh, who usually bear the uh, brunt of climate change. But more importantly, um, this project tackles the socioeconomic and psychological hurdles uh, as well, ensuring that uh, its beneficiaries have a sustainable transition during and after their uh, relocation. Uh, such approach uh, resonates well with ADB's strategy 2030 and also country Partnership uh, Strategy for India, which uh, present affordable housing as part of interventions to make uh, cities livable. Um, uh, let me also take this opportunity to highlight that ADB has built a strong and long-standing partnership with uh, Tamil Nadu, under which uh, we are assisting the state uh, to develop uh, functional uh, spatial uh, planning along with the resources mobilization for sustainability of um, interventions. In particular, our support for affordable housing uh, intends to prevent urban sprawl, uh, protect the environment, and manage disaster risk. Apart from that, uh, our assistance to Tamil Nadu uh, Shelter Fund is to catalyze private capital uh, for affordable housing projects. So in this context, this housing project is part of our holistic support uh, for synchronized urban and industrial development in the state. So we expect this project will inspire uh, more rental housing models in the affordable housing segment based on good practices 
and lessons learned from a project designing and implementation. Uh, what we have learned from this project will be uh, also relevant to other Indian states and also the DMCs in the region tackling affordable housing. And apart from that, we will um, continue working with other development partners uh, as well like the World Bank uh, in expanding, expanding investments in housing, um, uh, housing market, housing sector. Last but not uh, the least, these projects uh, really uh, drives home the importance of cross-sectoral collaboration, including private sector operation uh, in the spirit of 1ADB. So we will continue uh, this approach. So with this, uh, let me conclude today's workshop. Thank you again for your uh, participation. Back to you, uh, Peter. Thank you. And, and just, just for a little housekeeping, I wanna thank um, the ADB officials and the uh, officials um, in uh, Tamil Nadu, uh, uh, Secretary Samayamurti, uh, Dr. Shankar, and Mr. Chaitanya, um, uh, and especially to you, the participants. Uh, we will keep you apprised of future knowledge events that we have about uh, 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 impactful development activities that uh, are going on in, in South Asia. Um, implemented by the South Asia Regional Department. And we will send a follow-up to all of you who attended with uh, a link to this recording and the summary of some of the key uh, discussion uh, points and lessons learned. So thank you all and have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.